look like someone who might buy a home. That sounds so grown up and impressive. But before you start telling everyone at the office how grown up and impressive you are, there are a few big questions you should ask yourself first. Question number one. Should I rent or buy? Lots of pros and cons here, and it's different for everyone. Renting is often less complicated and cheaper since it doesn't involve a down payment, closing costs, or taxes. But buying lets you pay yourself rent every month instead of paying some other schlub's mortgage. Question number two. What can I afford? Whew, that's a big one. Try to anticipate what the next five years will be like. Getting married? Changing jobs? Buying a car? Getting knocked up? Plan for the house you can afford now, not later. The most important thing for a first-time buyer is to live within your budget. Also, don't be an idiot. But those are really the same thing. Question number three. If you're not buying by yourself, then ask, are my partner and I on the same page? Unless you want some friction in your new home, you need to make sure you're aligned. I mean, where do you want to live? What kind of house do you want? What's your financial sitch? Why does he always leave his gym clothes hanging on the exercise bike? What's she actually doing in the bathroom for that long? Why is he still on his parents' wireless family plan? Why doesn't she close her eyes when she kisses me? You know, stuff like that. And finally, if you're buying by yourself, are you on the same page with yourself? What do you want? Do you know what you want? Are you sure that's what you want? Internal confusion can often be difficult, so it's best to get aligned before you move on. Also, get professional help. I am not a doctor. Once you get all these questions out of the way, you're ready to move on to step two. To see it, click on this convenient play button. around here some, wherever it is.